Mike. A portable receiver for the FM broadcast band. Simpler than you think and just two transistors. Most of the simple broadcast receiver projects you see cover the AM band. But FM is surprisingly simple. I tried super regenerative receivers in the past without very good results. They were unstable and hissy. My interest was renewed when I came across an item on VK2ZAY's YouTube channel. It's Project 18 in his advent series of electronic projects. It's a small super regenerative receiver that covers the FM broadcast band and a bit of VHF either side. I thought I'd build it and give it a go. The radio drives a crystal earpiece, but for this demo I'll add a simple amplifier. It's actually a universal test instrument that does a lot more beside. The Super Regen receiver was intended for AM signals. FM signals can be heard by slope detection, i.e. tuning off to one side. Signals that have too much deviation have a bit of distortion, and I find that voice is clearer than music. As for the circuit of the receiver, very simple. A super regenerative detector using an MPF-102. An RF choke decouples the RF part from the audio, which passes through to a one transistor audio amplifier. That goes to the crystal earpiece. There will be a better quality circuit at the end of this video. I'll go through the main parts, the beehive trimmer up to 25 picofarad, that has some RG213 coax outer over it that allows external adjustment of the tuning. That's the tuning coil, count the number of turns, one, two, three, four, five, so about five turns and that's about six millimetres or so in diameter. Not critical, but you just have to experiment, compress and expand the turns until you get the centre of the tuning range on the FM broadcast band. The two transistors, MPF-102 and BC-547-548, 2 in 2 triple 2, not critical for the audio transistor. RF choke here, that's 100 micro Henry, but the value doesn't matter, I've tried much lower values and it works okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
As for differences in the circuit between mine and VK2ZAYs, I've used a higher value drain resistor, 3.9K, but it's not critical, I just found it provided clear reception in my set. Similarly, I've also used a higher value for the resistor in the source circuit. I've used 5.6K, Alan used, I think, 2.2K. Again, it seemed to provide slightly bit better results on my unit. Again, it seemed to provide slightly better results on my unit. The antenna connection, I've applied that to the source via a 5 picofarad capacitor. I did try an RF preamp, but the sensitivity didn't seem to be quite as high as connecting the antenna directly. A potential of doing that and not using an RF preamp is radiation because super regen receivers are oscillating detectors. The federal opposition says the government spending and borrowing is forcing up interest rates. The super regen is now tuned to the same station as the Panasonic. The rag is Super regen shooting. is off. Turning it on. And when held up close, it indeed smothers the desired signal. With a 9 volt battery, it is using just 1.3 milliamps. Compare that with a digital receiver, which may use several hundred times more current.